Hi, this is Deborah from Dinglefoot.com. Today I'm going to show you how to make an old-fashioned looking card using some Ranger ink pads. I have old paper and peeled paint and I'm going to use some of the Distress Embossing Powder. This is brushed corduroy. And I have a stamp, a little swirly stamp, and I need my ink blending tool to apply ink around the edges of my paper. And if you can see this flower here, this is the original color, the peach, and I wanted it to look a little more old, so I used some old paper re-inker to make it look like this. And to do that, I put it in a little mini mister, and I'll show you how to do that in just a minute. You might want some ribbon, bread, maybe a zot, and I think that's about all, so let's get started. To get started on my card, I'm going to use a swirly stamp and peeled paint ink. And I set my card down on a paper here because I'm going to be embossing. And when you pour the powder out, you want an easy way to dump it back into the jar, so that's why I have a paper there. So let's grab my peeled paint, make sure my stamp is inked really well. Let's get our embossing powder ready too. This embossing powder is different. It's not shiny like regular embossing powder and you also want to shake it up because it has something inside called release crystals that you brush off afterwards and you want to make sure they're mixed. So shake it up a little and get it ready for dumping over our stamped image. And to emboss with the Distress Embossing Powder you want to use the Ranger Distress Ink the clear or any of the colors. So let's stamp this on the card, I think sideways here, like that. And grab our embossing powder right away and pour a lot all over. So you can see how it spills off everywhere. And um, you want to make sure it's easy to get back into the jar. So just tap your card off onto the paper. You can easily fold this up and put it right back in the jar for next time. Okay, so now I need my embossing heat tool. In the Distress Powder, it gets a little darker when it's embossed, so we'll go ahead and do that. And I'm going to turn off the camera because it's kind of loud. So I'll be right back. Okay, I used my embossing heat tool, and you never want to touch the powder until it's dry because you might brush it all off or smear it or you might burn yourself so you want to be really careful let it dry it doesn't take too long I mean cool down it doesn't take too long to cool down and then we just take our hand and just brush over it slightly to get the release crystals off it doesn't look like much is coming off here just a little bit and don't ever put them back in the jar just throw them away because you don't want the embossing powder to have too many of the crystals in either so don't save them just brush them off and now for the edges of the card I'm going to take my ink blending tool it has a foam pad on it dip it in my old paper ink here and I'm going to go around the edges of the card just take it and move it in slight circular motion you can go right over top of your embossed image Okay, I'm going to go all around the edges. You can even do the back of the card to keep it with the same theme. Or you could just do the front. I kind of prefer to do the whole way around the card. Just keep rubbing around in little circles and getting more ink when you need it. This craft sheet's so nice because if you get ink and stuff all over it, it just wipes right off. You can emboss on it too because the heat won't hurt anything. So I'm going to put just maybe a little tad towards the center to make it look a little older. Okay, that looks pretty good. So next, I'm going to show you what I did with this flower like this. You can see that the original color is really really peachy and I didn't want it to look that bright because it's an older looking card. So what I did is I took my little mini mister and filled it up with um, the old paper re -inker. comes in a little bottle like this. So don't add any water, just put some 
re-anchor right in there. I'm going to get my card out of the way. Take your flower, lay it down on your craft sheet, and whoops, spray it in the right direction. I'm going to spray it right on the flower. And then if you don't want it to take too long to dry, I'm going to tap that right there so there's not so much. Just take your heat tool and hold it down with something so you don't get burned and just dry it a little bit. Okay, and there you have your flower with the old paper ink on it. So, I'm going to take my one that I already made here. Just take a brad and push it through. Wipe off my sheet here. Yeah, that's going to go on the front of the card there. Put a zod on that. That right with my swirly. And another thing you can do to fancy up this card a little bit is put a little bit of ribbon along the bottom. And there's all sorts of adhesive ribbons you can get, or you can just use a regular ribbon and glue it down. I'm just going to put this on. And if it needs a little bit more, I'm thinking I might use my peeled paint again and, and stamp another swirly on it. So I'll put this here. Okay, cut off that edge. Okay, I'm going to do another swirly, I think. Like that. And the nice thing about the embossing powder is you can stamp right on top of it again. And maybe another one on this side. See how I kind of went off the paper? It makes it have a, a nice little look there. And I think that's about it.